F zero time. Twister race. I didn't know it was called Twister race, and I'm a little sad that it has no mention of F zero in it. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I don't even know what F zero is, except for Captain. I know Captain Falcon isn't. Ah, uh, well, here, time to take you through a little history. Oh my God. Ah, here we go. Steven's brought out the chalkboard. <clears throat> chalkboard. <laughs> Back in uh, back in 1990, the the game F Zero came Stop. out. Stop. <laughs> what's, what's the deal with those with those glass chalkboards that you like see in TV shows and movies? You mean like the Flash? Yes. Where, I mean, in other movies they do it too. Not just in the. Is there a benefit to that? Is there any reason why you would want a clear chalkboard? I mean, I maybe people it just like, seems like that it would be more difficult. I mean, it doesn't even seem like it's not actually chart a chalk. It's like marker. Yeah, more, more like. like I don't know. Why would you want to? If there's any uh, mathematicians in the audience, why would you want to write on a pe on a sheet of glass? Also, um, it's like in sci-fi where they have like the clear display, uh -huh. like in like Blade Runner or even in Star Wars or something, where it's like a, a transparent display. Uh huh. Why? Why is that good? I think maybe it's more. I don't know. Maybe it. Maybe it's considered, like, cooler or something? I guess, but, like, from a functional perspective, no. I don't think that that's... Like, that would be annoying, right? If you could see through your phone at all times? Yeah. Um, I mean... Wait, what Wait. What do you What do you mean through your phone? Like, if, it, like if you're... Like, if you're... Well, right, but I mean, like, in sci-fi where it's like, oh, we have a transparent display. Like, uh -huh. a holographic display. Oh! That you interact with. Uh-huh. It seems like, realistically, that would be very annoying. Yeah! I mean, but, like, I think the whole point is, like, oh, it's the future, so, like, it, so it just... So everything has to be impractical. Uh, a lot <laughs> of things in sci-fi are, like, impractical. That's true. I mean, that's... I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's science fiction. If it was practical, it'd be boring. <laughs> Who wants practical? Boring. What practicality when you can have something cool? That's true. It's like flying cars. Yeah, it's like, that is very imp you that's like <laughs> that's the worst idea you could have what steven you wouldn't drive a flying car given the opportunity i not if there was traffic <laughs> because you see how bad the uh, the people are out here in <laughs> these new york roads oh my god you imagine the new york skies imagine the belt parkway if you could, <laughs> if you could move in three dimensions oh, god <laughs> you know what i think like in the first few weeks uh the traffic would be better uh-huh but um in the long run it would be disastrous. I'm just imagining three-dimensional gridlock. Oh, God! Just flying cars just, like, layered on top of each other in sheets. Uh-huh. That's... N nobody really... can move in any dimension. That sucks! <laughs> That's... That... That I don't... I don't want it at all. I mean, is that even possible? What? Three-dimensional traffic? I guess if they had flying cars, do you think... No! <laughs> I this would happen if it flying Yeah. Out. Yeah, you'd fall off the side. Oh god. That would probably actually happen if you like fell off the side of the freaking um Belt Parkway. I mean, if you're in the air somehow, I don't freaking know. If you had a flying car, right? Why would you ever st like what would be would there be roads where you would have to like drive on a specific lane like in two-dimensional traffic? Well, then that would be more like a hover car, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I mean like like, would there be a reason to stick on a specific road? Or would you just be able to... Fl I mean, they couldn't have it so that you could just fly anywhere, Yeah, right? no, because that's dangerous. Like, you realize... Like, so many people would take it... How do you even, like, manage that? How do you, like, control that without causing, like, a major accident? If there are any air traffic controllers in the audience, can you tell us how air travel works? I'm not sure if any of our audience are, uh, are actually, like, air traffic controllers. Well, you never something. know, Steven. The internet's a big place. Yeah, but like, uh, yeah, but we haven't, we haven't unlocked the internet's full potential yet. Look, the people that are watching this video, they might be air traffic controllers. I mean, maybe. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna, you know, not gonna take a bet on that. Like, if you, if, if you told me, like, that you would give me a dollar if there were any air traffic controllers, if you made that bet, I would probably win. Well, it's weird to see, like, what sorts of people are on YouTube, because you can, like, there are all sorts of people. 
Uh, are you the legal? How he's a lawyer and he just makes YouTube videos. And there, there's Dr. Mike. He's a doctor and he makes YouTube videos. There's about... a bunch of doctors on YouTube. I mean, but like Dr. Mike is the one I know the most. Yeah, but I just like it's it's interesting that like doctors just go up and make YouTube videos. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's like if they could, if they could like you know profit off of it or like if they could. I mean, I think or if they, they could do it to make, like inform make that part people, their sort of. Or it's, like, it's a cool job to have where you also do YouTube on the side, you know? Yeah. Like, it's interesting to see someone who's a medical professional, and then they're making YouTube videos, like, in their... Usually in their scrubs, just to show that they're a medical professional. Yeah, that's what Dr. Mike does. He even has, like, his own... Like, he has, like, his own, like, design scrubs with his, like, uh... With his freaking, uh, symbol on it. Like, mm. his logo... Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Wow, see... <laughs> God! Like driver, everybody. I, okay, just because, like, I I promise I don't drive like this in real life. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, I would be terrified if you Yeah, did. no, I, I've been told that people love my driving. Like, n everyone, every time someone goes in my car, they're Many like, Many reputable Steven. sources that yeah. say, my, I am the best driver. Exactly. <laughs> you want to, you want, you know what you want to spin on this? I, d I have no idea how to, sure, I'll do it. Uh, you just, uh, well, first let's go to player setup. So we could change to your, uh, change to your character. Oh my gosh! Here you are. Cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, even, e uh, even though you, even though you don't drive, maybe here you can prove that you're a better driver than I am. Oh, I'll I'll prove something. <laughs> well, this is just gonna be a train wreck. I mean, maybe not. As here long we go, as you baby. As long as you can steer, you got it. I'm about to show everyone why I'm not a licensed driver. Oh, hold, now hold on a second. So I far, mean, you're doing you're doing fine. Like I mean, you got the straight. Also, I am blind. I mean, legally. Yes. But like, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, as far as the state of New York is concerned. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, that was a boost pad he just hit. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. And the whole point is to go fast. Oh, watch. All right. Those. This isn't so. This isn't so bad. Right. It's actually slower than I thought it was. Um, I think it speeds up, like, over time. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, or, like, there are just, like, way more obstacles. Now, see, the thing is, like, uh, as long as you can, as long as you can, you know, avoid the corners, you should be fine. Yeah, those turns were pretty wild. Yeah. Um. Oh, shoot, you're racing against me. Oh. Or at least my ghost. Oh no. I mean, yeah, like, you know, that last accident, you know, I <laughs> basically died. You need to move on. I can't! I can't move on until I beat this! <laughs> That's the problem! To the other side. I, I'm afraid I can't. Oh no. Steven, do you think that, like, you would become a ghost if you had the option? If I had the option? Yeah, when you died. Um. If you died and well, the, uh, the Archangel Gabriel was like, yo. You want to be a ghost? I mean, well, th well, what are the? Oh shoot! Oh, Twister. Yeah. Uh, well, what are the conditions? Um. Well, you have to be incorporeal, and you can. Okay. Uh, be incorporeal meaning I'm intangible. Yes. But can people see me? Uh, sometimes. Okay. It's like how do ghosts work? Like, well, all right, all right, you made it. Uh, well, what? How like, do ghosts work? Yeah, like. What are the rules of being a ghost, do you think? Well, I mean, the point, uh, I mean, the whole thing about a ghost is like, yeah, most of the time you can't see them, and usually you can't touch them. <laughs> um, okay, so, well, Steven, let's preface. Do you think that ghosts are real? No. Really? Really. You have no belief in, you don't even think it's possible. I've had a friend, I had a friend one time freak out uh, because she thought she saw a ghost on her Snapchat filter uh -huh. behind her, and I was like, girl... You bugging. I mean, it was probably just, like, dust on the screen. I mean, may maybe. Alright, you're about to go flying. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, watch the- Oh! I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, Kevon, but you might be a ghost now. Okay. Hang on, I want to play again. This is kind all of right. fun. Alright, yeah, go ahead. Alright, so now, like, yeah, I don't believe in ghosts, first of all. Mm-hmm. Now, oh. now, yeah, I think the two main rules of ghosts is that- Is that you're in- Oops. Just press the home button. Oh. Um, the two main rules of ghosts is that you are intangible, 
and you are mostly invisible. Right. Uh, so, uh... Wait, Steven. What? Um, since you don't believe in ghosts, what do you yeah. think that ghosts are? Like, because people see ghosts, like, every day. Oh, so what do I think... What do I think people are seeing? What is the explanation behind ghost phenomena? That my, I think that's a... I think it's probably an optical illusion. Hmm. Um, that's my... That's my onion about it. Right. Um... Yeah, my... Like, people are just seeing, like, optical illusions? Yeah, like, I don't know, maybe... It, like, it's something they're... Like... Like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. They're... You, uh, people just kind of, like, see things sometimes. Like, if you ever... It's like looking in a mirror... Looking in a mirror and just... And, like, you think you see someone uh, pass by, but it really isn't. Right. It's like a... Like, it's a trick on your mind. Like... Uh, maybe you thought, maybe you saw something in the mirror yeah. that you missed that you mistook for a ghost. It's like, have you ever done Bloody Mary? No, and I shoot. You know what? This is gonna be uh, what is the word? Hypocritical. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I don't want to do Bloody Mary because I am kind well, of I'm, ghosts don't exist. Yeah, I know, but I'm kind of afraid. Like, but what if it's real? <laughs> <laughs> you just said ghosts don't exist. You're right, and but there is no basis for ghosts. That yes, but yes, but it's like why would I? Why would I? Why are you do... scared of an optical illusion, Steve? <laughs> I'm not okay. There's no okay. I got scared of it because I watched it. I watched like an episode of Supernatural uh -huh. where uh, where like people were stupidly doing Bloody Mary and it was killing them and that scared the crap out of me. Right. Oh God. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Turn. 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 Oh God. All right. All right. You can make it. It's there. I'm, I can't make it, but, like... Wait! G just get the boost! Oh, uh, Damn! No. Well... Okay, Steven, you're go. Alright. But, Steven, But like... I, I don't care, I don't care that, like, ghosts aren't real. It's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna p tempt death. Uh-huh. But it can't kill you, because it's just your brain. I mean... Your brain can kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, I guess that is true. Yeah. Your brain can kill you. But, like, Bloody Mary, I think, like, because Bloody Mary is probably an option. Whoa, oh my Bassy. God. Bassy. 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 Oh my God. Stop. Okay, so Bassy, like, tried to jump on a windowsill and she failed. She, yeah. Yeah, so that okay, caught Bassie. us by some... Bassy, do you want to... Oh my God. And we're back. So we were talking about, um... Like, Bloody Mary, I think, is probably just an optical illusion, right? Yes. Like, what Bloody Mary is, I think I was... No, okay, no, it's not an... Okay, no, first and foremost, it's a superstition. Yes. It's like, I think that a lot of what ghosts are is, like, it's some sort of psychic phenomenon, where it's like, it's yeah. like our cultural imagining that Bloody Mary is a thing, mm -hmm. and so your brain expects to see Bloody Mary. Right. And so you sort of impress that onto whatever you're looking at. I think that's a fair description. <laughs> because, like, think about the situation in which most people see Bloody Mary, right? Yeah. Most of the time, you're in, like, what, like, fourth or fifth grade, uh -huh. and someone in your class is like, bro, have you ever done uh, Bloody Mary? We got a problem here. What? Uh, the, uh... Calibration's off. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it messed me up for a bit. Uh... Oh, what controller's broken? Oh, god damn it. Uh, this is a problem. I'm not holding it... Can you get through this race? Yes, I can. I could try to... Oh, my god. Okay. It's like I'm not holding it straight. All right, so, like, uh -huh. most of the time it's like, someone in your class is like, Oh, have you ever done Bloody Mary? Uh -huh. And then you're like, what? What is that? And they tell you the whole story, and then you go home, and you go, at, and it's midnight... And you're uh -huh. in the bathroom, and the yeah. lights are out, and you ex and you're like, "Oh man, what's gonna happen?" Uh huh. And you know, so, boom! You turn off the lights, you turn them back on, you see Bloody Mary behind you. Mm hmm. And apparently, this is because of like some sort of a response where it's like, "Oh, oh uh, because your brain is filtering things, you have like this pattern recognition where you just see some nothing in the background, mm -hmm. and your brain imagines that there's a figure there." Yeah. Right. And it could be anything, just like an amorphous shadow or something, mm -hmm. but you think that it's a ghost monster or something. Right. Just because, like, that's you've kind of set up that expectation yeah. for yourself. It's like, the human brain is very powerful, and you can just create this false image in your brain. Right. Hm. That's that's pretty... That's a fair... That's a fair description. So, in that case, I really shouldn't be scared of Bloody Mary. Right, because it's nothing. Alright, you know what? You're right. I'm going... You know what I'm gonna do? Like, later... Aw, oh, <laughs> shoot! 
do 12 plays Bloody Mary. Yes! You film us doing Bloody Mary. So we can, and then we could die! <laughs> yeah, if we die, then we pr prove that Bloody Mary is real. That, yeah, it's true. I think, I'm gonna quickly recalibrate this. Yeah. If it works, I don't, I actually don't know how to. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, there we go. Recalculated. Um... Yeah, we should do 12 plays Bloody Mary. I don't know how we do... Uh, you know, we could probably get, like, a phone or a camera, just have, like, me staring in the mirror and just mm -hmm. say Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. <laughs> like, we try to summon Bloody Mary in real life. Yeah. But that'll probably... Like, calling honest... Bloody Mary at 3 a.m. Oh! She answered. Challenge! <laughs> Gone wrong. Gone sexual. Gone sexual? Bloody Mary sucked my dick. No! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> You remember the scene in Ghostbusters where the guy gets a blowjob from a ghost? No! It's like during the montage where, um, we'll have the footage on screen. Why would we do that? And, like, Cope it's just a, gonna it's get just on a our quick ass. moment in the, in the Ghostbusters movie where this guy is being haunted by a ghost and the uh -huh. ghost, and you see, like, his, his button fly undoes and uh -huh. then his zipper goes down. Yeah. And he, like, has this expression on his face, like, <laughs> and then the scene cuts away. That's... But the implication, of course, being that he received a little bit of a, a little bit of a... Uh, of a blowy... Of blow a blowy joey. Blow oh, okay, ghost. yeah, blowy joey. I was, I was saying blowy doughy. I don't think that means... Blowy doughy? I don't know what that what? means. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that implies. Steven. I don't, I don't know. Oh, crap. A blowy doughy is I'm like... <laughs> oh, God, I'm losing it again. I don't even want to think about what a blowy doughy is. I don't, I mean, what is it, like, you... <laughs> it's like you um, it's like you you make uh you you shape dough into a penis what do you do and then you get an entire like you get the like the uh the pillsbury the pillsbury like cookie cookie dough cylinder yeah and you sort of like cut a hole in the middle of it right and then you you know but that's not you know, blowy <laughs> well it's like the pillsbury dough boy is you know no no so oh, is the Pillsbury Doughboy of legal age? I, you <laughs> know what? Considering okay he's considering like they call him the boy, I'm not gonna <laughs> say yes. Even like even if even if he was, that's still a complete no from me. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm sorry, like yeah, I, I guarantee I'm, I'm, there I'm sorry. People. Yes, I yes, I have my standards are not very strict, but e but I still have standards. Uh huh. You would not get a you would not get a sloppy toppy from the Pillsbury Doughboy. No, boy, given the option, never, <laughs> never. I'm sorry, but like I can't, like <laughs> I not can't. in good, not in good faith. <laughs> can't, not if I can't, I can't go into this. Yeah, <laughs> wait, wait. Like, not even, not if he was asking for it. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> the Pillsbury Doughboy was looking at you. He's like, Stephen, <laughs> I really, oh! I really, really want. <laughs> I'm so disgusted. <laughs> Why? What's disgust? It's two consenting adults. Assuming the Pillsbury Doughboy is an adult. I don't He's want... Not, and this is the reality where he is. I don't want him to look at me and say, Steven, listen, I want... No! I want this. I don't... No, I don't <laughs> want this. Is what you've got... Oh, shoot. Go, no! No, I'm losing control again. The free... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's, I guarantee that there is like some group of people somewhere that wants to that wants to do unspeakable things with the Pillsbury Doughboy. Probably, you know how you know that there are people like that everywhere. And you know that there are people in the world. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Shoot, that's, that's really like that statement just encapsulates the internet. Yeah, there are that, people in the world. I mean, he's. I mean, they're right, you know. <laughs> He's right. Willem Dafoe, when he said that, he was completely right. Did he say that? No. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen every stupid, Willem... Stupid boomer meme. I haven't seen every Willem Dafoe move... Oh, God damn it. That's true. You know who has? You. My friend Bartos. Oh, uh, He probably hasn't. Right. But I remember that I went to see The Lighthouse with him just because Willem Dafoe was in it. What was The Lighthouse about? Light... God, I can't get into what the lighthouse is about on this. I mean, why not? We've talked about every goddamn. Yeah, thing. we've talked about you know. But Bartos wanted to go see the lighthouse. He didn't know anything about the movie, but he mm -hmm. just knew that Willem Dafoe was in it. And I'd already seen it, but I wanted to go see it with him just because it's a weird movie. Uh -huh. Lighthouse is like an art movie. Uh -huh. Um, it's directed by the guy who did The Witch. The you heard of that? The mm, The I've Witch heard. was this like horror movie about like um. 
about the New England, like, witch era. Uh-huh. Of, like, oh, not, oh, so we're not talking, like, the Salem Trials. Uh, because that was the same six... sort of, same sort of, like, period and context. Hey, they would, oh! I blew up. Yeah. I blow up. I, I throw up. <laughs> The Witch um, is like this movie that takes place in New England, and it's about these people that get ex exiled from a community mm -hmm. um, after, in a witch trial, and then they start to be hunted and taken down by these witches. Right? Uh-huh. And it's like, the whole thing is, it's made to be a New England folktale about witches and all this. Okay. Right. So it's really good. I mean, eh, it's not really good, but it's very interesting of a movie, you know? Uh oh Like, it's sort of like... I would not necessarily recommend it to someone mm -hmm. unless they were very interested in that concept because it's it's weird, but also it's like a well-made film, right? right. Like the production value yes, or quality? is good, but yeah. I don't think a lot of people would enjoy it. Well, you know? Do you think I would enjoy it? Um, I don't know. I think you would just say it's weird because that's my reading of it. It's a, it's a weird movie, but I respect that the director did a very good job and the actors did a very good job. Okay, I could you know I could get behind that. Yeah. Um, the Lighthouse is like that, mm -hmm. except the, where the witch is a New England folktale, the Lighthouse is a fisherman's tale. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we got a lot of sa we got a lot of sailors here. Well, it's actually it's about two characters. Uh -huh. Like there are really only two characters in the movie. It's Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe. Okay, and they uh, are inter interesting duo. Yeah, like, not one I thought. Robert Pattinson, soon to be Batman. Yeah. Um. But... Uh, yeah. Uh, if that hasn't happened already by the time this comes out instantly dating this video but um yeah so so our pat and uh willie they're both in this movie playing two lighthouse keepers mm -hmm. and without spoiling stuff in the movie it's basically the story of one or both of them is going insane well, as this well, movie is going on okay and it's just sort of this wacky fisherman's tale of just like whoa uh-huh you know it's it's weirder than the witch i think and more just strange because it is this concept of like yeah the main character shh, is shh. going insane we just cannot do this jump no i don't i did it before you saw me get it i yeah. went, i got past it <clears throat> but it's it's not easy let me oh wait let me try uh, unless you want to try this again you know what hand it over to me all just, right handing it over yeah let me i can i have time to screw it up again wait uh wait no no not that because it's still my character. Uh oh, whatever, we'll do it. <sighs> no! Doing it live. Oh god! You didn't realize what this. I'm supposed to be the ghost, but you realize what happens now, right? I'll be the ghost? You've No, you've essentially. You know, possessed my body. Oh. So now, whatever you do, this is com it's completely on you. <laughs> so okay. if you F this up, we're both dead. But, uh. Yeah, so the light. That's the lighthouse. Uh huh. And it's really weird, and I don't think Bartos knew quite what he was getting into when how, we went to see it. How? What was his reaction upon, like, you know, watching I it? I think he just was sort of speechless. Really? Because it's it's so strange. It's like, it's weirder than The Witch, and The Witch is weird to begin with. That's... then that's... And it's Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson just doing crazy, crazy-ass stuff. Uh-huh. I, you know what, I, I think I'd watch that. I, I want to see, like, that duo. I want to see how they interact. Yeah, like, they're both good in the movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that the director of The Witch really... He, what he does is he tries to get the actors to s actually sound like they're of the era. Uh -huh. So in The Witch, like, they all have that old-timey New England speech about them. Right, and, and in then, The Fisherman's Tale, like... Yeah, I mean, how it sounds like an old sea seaman. Yeah, sea, like, a, like, an old, like an old sea... Yeah, he's a salty a, sea dog. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> salty sailor. Salty, yeah. salty spittoon type fella. Exactly. He, uh, like, he, uh, he's... Like, is he a guy that you would think is tough enough to walk into salty spittoon? Uh, yeah, sure. He'd be stuff, tough enough to walk into the salty spittoon. Alright, I'm glad. <laughs> Actually, why did, I, why did we bring up the lighthouse? I don't know. You brought it. I think we're talking about some kind of movie. I don't, I don't know. I legitimately don't remember. Sorry, this episode is just us rambling about nonsense. I mean, well, I mean, we gotta we gotta keep ourselves sane so we don't, you know, die of madness or or you know, bad dry. Oh God! Oh, oh God damn! <laughs> Woo. It's always 
always that area. I, 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 that was my fault completely. I was not paying attention to that jump as uh, much as I should have. Okay, so I, I think the deal with this jump is that you have to, like, you have to stay straight on it, right? Mm -hmm. You can't, well, This like, should be very difficult for you, Steven. Wow! <laughs> No wonder you can't do it. No! Oh, how come you didn't do it? Huh? Uh, answer, answer that, hotshot. You just sweat just pouring down my body <laughs> in a river. This is the day that Kevon comes out. Like the John Boyega GIF. Wait, I'm, I, uh, remind me who John Boyega is? He's Finn from the Star Wars. Oh, you mean the black guy? Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the new Star Wars? No, I, the only, I talked about this several times. The only Star Wars movie I've seen was, uh, Episode 3, uh... Oh god, Bartos is gonna kill me for this one. Uh, Revenge, of the, Revenge of the Sith. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, because, like, I mixed that up with, uh... With something. Revenge Return of... Return of the Jedi? It might... It might have been that. Yeah. Um... Yeah. No, that's the only Star Wars movie I saw. Oh. Yeah. I do... I... Uh, new I trilogy's do want to not watch bad, it. huh? I said the new trilogy's not bad. Really? I've, I heard, mean, people well, mm -hmm. I've heard people complain about it. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna turn this into a Star Wars discussion. But my thought is, oh that, god, like, the new trilogy. It's not great as a trilogy, just because it's obvious that it's not one cont contiguous story going all the way through. It's not. No, but so, if you look at each of the movies as its own thing, then it's it's pretty good. Like they're individually pretty good movies, except the Last Jedi is. I mean, not the Last Jedi. The uh, Rise of Skywalker is not my favorite. R oh, I think uh, think I've I've also heard like there are a bunch of prop. Oh my god, freaking! Actually, um, Bar uh, Bartos was telling me about how like there's a there's a whole like situation with Rise of Skywalker, and he was he was comparing it to uh to the Snyder Cut uh thing. Yeah, it's kind it's kind of like Justice League. Oh, god. I actually, I almost wrote a tweet where I would, I didn't write this, but I was thinking of a tweet that was like, um, Justice League is for people that hate, um, Batman v Superman. Right. And Rise of Skywalker is for people who hate The Last Jedi. Oh god, I made it! Oh yeah! 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 Hell yeah, baby! Now, what is, what is this about? It, it's for people, wait, so... Because a lot of the things in Rise of Skywalker feel like they are apologies or wait more like trying to quote unquote fix things that people didn't like about the Last Jedi. Really, yeah. and that's kind of what uh, uh, Justice League was. That's kind of what the theatrical cut of Justice League is like. That it's sucks. Just trying to fix things that people didn't like about BVS. But it's like, um, but we watched. Uh, we watched uh, Batman v Superman, like both, uh, like uh, the both of us, like uh, Kivon, like Kivon and I watched Man of Steel and Batman v Superman: The Ultimate Edition back yeah. to back, and like after doing that, like I, like I definitely have more appreciation for uh, for what Snyder was going for. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, The Last Jedi is different because it's um because it is a director's vision. Yeah, but the problem with the Rise of Skywalker is that basically two of the movies in the trilogy are directed by J.J. Abrams. Uh, oh, The Force Awakens and Rise of Skywalker, but the movie in the middle was directed by a different guy oh. whose name escapes me at the moment. So, it, it, so it wasn't... Ryan John so it might was, be Ryan Johnson, I don't know. So it wasn't entirely... Uh, it, it wasn't entirely connected? Yeah, it wasn't one director's vision from start to finish, and the director in the middle sort of, like, changes or he decides to go in a certain direction that it seems like J.J. did not want to go. Oh, so, so that it's like kind of... J So it's like, this one director makes choices, and then J.J. kind of turns those choices back. Right, because... Uh... Wow. Uh, that's the farthest I've gotten. Should we even continue playing with this? Oh, God. Okay, it's like... It's like going through the jumps. Like, I'm fine with that, but... It's like hitting a bomb is so demoralizing. Uh huh. Ah, uh, it's it like just looked like you just died really suddenly. I. Uh, it feels like it. God damn it. <sighs> Whatever. You know what? I have my. You know I. I don't care. You know why? I have my license in real life, and that's all I care about. All right.
F zero can F yeah, off. Yeah, F zero. <laughs> you see me right now? F zero. Well plays nine 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 coming soon. <laughs> Three, two, one, go.